Hi everyone, my name is Noemi. Welcome to my channel. So a little over a month ago, I graduated from grad school and my husband and I decided to embark on a journey and travel all over Europe and we visited six different countries. We visited um, Netherlands, Italy, France, United Kingdom, um, Spain and Switzerland and I thought it would be cool to make a little video and show everyone what we got from each place we visited. So in no particular order, I'm going to begin showing you what we got. Um, so Amsterdam was so beautiful, the architecture was amazing and um, one of the things that my husband and I enjoy doing every time we visit somewhere new is we like to collect magnets and we put them in our fridge just to, to you know sort of remind us of the places that we visited it and also um, we always grab a magnet for my parents' fridge as well because they love learning about the places we've been to. So we decided to get this little magnet for my parents. It's so cute. Um, it says Amsterdam and look at the architecture. The houses were so cute. Um, so that's for my parents. And we decided to get this one for us. Um, you can see the buildings once again. There's a little windmill. Um, and there's a little, the river canals and the bridges, which are all over Amsterdam. I thought this was super cute. So anyways, I got these little clogs. Um, I got one for myself because I love pink and it has, um, I thought it was cute because it has little tulips at the top. And I got one for my sister who also loves pink, but I got her a different shade. And I got one for my mom because my mom loves bright colors. Um, a person from Amsterdam told me that they don't wear clogs as often as they used to. Um, however, some cheesemakers and farmers still wear clogs, so I thought that was really interesting. So I decided to get this because it, they remind me of Amsterdam. So while we were in Amsterdam, we decided to go check out the Amsterdam Dungeon. And this was a really cool experience because it showcased the history of Amsterdam's dark times and how they would torture people way back when. Um, it was cool because it had special effects and live actors and we got to um, participate in some of the activities. For example, they would make us do funny things like they would lock some of us up in cages and make us smell um, funny things. Um, and one of the things that I got, I got this souvenir because I thought it would be interesting. I believe it was four euros. It has scary stories that took place in Amsterdam. and. Um, scary facts and I decided that I would look through it and kind of learn a little bit about history um, and I was also planning on sharing this with my nephew because he likes this sort of stuff he likes learning about history so I think this would be an interesting way um, for him to learn about the dark times in Amsterdam so I decided to get this bright orange tulips for my parents because my parents love gardening. They love all things plants and flowers and they take great pride in their garden. So I thought this would be perfect to add to their collections. So my husband and I also went to check out the Anne Frank house. And if you're ever in the area, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go check out that house because it's such an amazing experience. Um, I would do it all over again if we could. You know, in school you learn about who Anne Frank is and you read the book, um, but going to the Anne Frank house and seeing it in person is a whole different experience. Um, once you walk in through the bookshelf and into the secret annex, you can um, you do a little walkthrough of Anne Frank's house um, where her and her family hid for two years. And I guarantee you almost everyone in that um, I was doing the walkthrough, was crying through the whole thing just because they had pictures of Anne Frank and her family, they had quotes from her diary, they had little facts about what had happened. So after the walkthrough there is a little Anne Frank store and I decided to purchase a couple things. Um, I decided to purchase the, the Diary of a Young Girl, the Anne Frank book, um, just because you know I read it in school already but I wanted to add this to my own collection and after going to visit her house I thought this would be an amazing book to reread. Um, I don't like to reread a lot of books but this book, um, I haven't read it in over 10 years so I decided it was time I reread it. So I've been in grad school for the past two years so I'm really glad I finally got to pick my own book to read. Um, because I haven't read a book for pleasure for the past um, two years. And I decided to get a hardcover. They did have different versions, different languages of the books. 
Um, but I didn't want a paperback um, book. I wanted a hardcover book just because um, that's my preference when I'm reading books. I don't like the cover to bend and it preserves the book more. So, you know, it lasts a, long, a lot longer. And I also picked up this book. Um, it's titled Dreaming, Thinking, and Writing. And the lady at the shop said that you can only get this book at the Ask Bank House. So I thought I would um, pick it up just because it has a lot of facts and pictures from Affleck and her family. Um, for example, here's a picture of Affleck's dad and mom. So I'm definitely gonna um, read this book and then once I'm through with it, you know, um, pass it on to my sisters. One of my sisters actually said that going to the Anthony house was on her bucket list, so I'm sure she would appreciate this book. So while we were in Spain, I decided to check out the Lush store and I purchased a couple things. The first thing I purchased was this Ocean Soul exfoliator, you know, to exfoliate. And the other thing I purchased was um, this mask just to clarify and I'm really excited to try out these two products um, The cells girl also um, gave me this little hydrator for the face. So I'm really excited to use those products So while we were in the first one I decided to get a couple of things for myself um, So the first thing I got was this shirt I wanted something red because um, I felt like it's summer, you know, I want to wear some bright colors. So I found this cute little shirt. Um, I actually wore it when I was in Ibiza and then I wore it again, I believe, in Rome. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll insert a picture here. So I also decided to pick up these pair of jeans. They're really comfy. I tried them on. Um, and they were 70 euros and the shirt was I believe 8 euros so um, I just felt like the material of these jeans were so um, so nice and they were like stretchy and comfy and I just thought I had to have them I didn't wear them on my trip but I figured I could wear them when I get home um, I purchased these two things from a store called Lefties and that store had a bunch of amazing things. Um, the sales associate said that they have those stores all over Europe and in South America. Unfortunately, they don't have them in the United States. Um, so that's a little bit upsetting, but I'm glad I was able to get a few things from there. So while we were in Barcelona, we were walking alongside the coast and um, you know they have a lot of um, little vendors um, set up there so you can walk around and take a look at what everyone has to offer. And I, I came across a little um, vendor who was selling this handmade um, names. So I thought this was really cute. Um, I have a niece named Mila and I thought this would look so cute so that my brother um, can hang on her door to her room. Um, I just thought it was really cute because it's so personalized. I got to choose the color I wanted um, the crown to be and her wings. I got to choose the lettering. So my husband and I, we went to La Sagrada Familia. And outside the La Sagrada Familia, there were vendors selling little, um, you know, souvenirs. And we thought this, um, this would be really cool for our mom. So I picked one up for my mom and he picked one up for my mother-in-law. And um, I'm not sure what they're called, but um, they have this cute little design up in the um, front. It's of two flamenco dancers. And we actually had the opportunity to go see them dance, the traditional flamenco dance. Um, I'm not gonna go too into detail because I feel like that could be a whole nother video of everything we did in, in Europe. Um, but um, that was also a beautiful dance. But anyways, um, I'm not sure how you use them, but um, you're supposed to kind of like, kind of like pinch them and they clap. So I feel like my mom and my mother-in-law will really love these. Um, So while we were in Switzerland, I decided to get this chocolate bar. It's um, Switzerland milk chocolate to be exact and I'm really excited to try this because I'm a chocolate lover and I just can't wait to taste it. I also got this cute little bookmark from Paris. It has the Eiffel Tower and a couple cats. I just thought it would be really cute. 
So while we were in Venice, I got this um, magnet. So I picked out the same one for my parents as I did for my husband and I. Um, it's really cute. It has uh, the gondolas and it has the Italian blood colors. So I thought this would really be really cute in our fridge. I also had to stop by the Disney store and check out what they have to offer. Um, and I really only found one thing that really caught my attention. Um, it was this cute Winnie the Pooh mug. It's really cute, you know. Um, I love Winnie the Pooh. Um, I believe it was eight euros and it has this little beast around the um, edges of the holder. Um, and it's just perfect to add to my mug collection. We got this for I believe 10 euros. Um, and I'm not sure how it works, but my nephew can figure that out. So while we were in London, we chose this magnet for my parents. Um, it really encompasses all that. It's London. It has the little buses, um, Big Ben, London Eye, um, London Bridge, um, and the little telephone booths. Um, it's really cute, and we just had to get it for my parents. And we also got... Um, this one for ourselves. Um, it's really cute. And I'm not sure who we're gonna give this one to, but we just got a whole bunch of magnets because you can never have too many magnets. And this one's really cute too, so I think we might keep this one. So out of all the cities we visited, it, I wanna say Paris was one of the, my favorites. Not the favorite, but just one of the the top favorites. I don't really have a favorite to be exact because all the places we visited were amazing but Paris has to be one, um, one of the top ones. Um, and we decided to get this little Eiffel Tower that says Paris going down the middle. Um, so my parents have this little shelf at home that they add all the souvenirs that my siblings and I get them over the years of all the places we um, have visited so I thought this would be perfect to add to their collection. And I, of course, had to get myself an Eiffel Tower. I decided to get myself a pink one because who doesn't love pink? I got a mini Eiffel Tower so that I can take with me to work and just leave it on my desk. I thought this would be a cool way to remind myself of Paris. It's really cute. Oh, and I found some magnets from um, Switzerland. So here, um, here's a magnet that I'm planning to give to my parents. It's from Switzerland, and it, um, it's pretty much the country Switzerland and all the city, major cities. And I thought this would be cool for my parents because they they love looking at maps. And so this is one of my favorite magnets from Barcelona, just because it shows that pretty much everything we did. It has a little lady up, um, with the flamenco um, dress. And it shows La Sagrada Familia. It shows Casa Vatio and Casa Mila, which we, we went to both of them. And it has um, the, if you look at the design of the letters, it's in um, gaudy style. So I thought this was really cool. And, and I got this for my parents so they can add to their fridge to remind them of Barcelona. It's a little lady a flamenco, dancing flamenco. I also got this one. So we also got this little um, cute magnet for my parents. It has a little um, cow and uh, it's wearing a cowbell. It has cheese, the sweet Switzerland flag um, and a little flower. Um, it's so cute. So um, some of the magnets that we got from Paris, we couldn't decide which ones we wanted because they were all really cute. Um, for example, we got this one. This one's so cute. Um, it reminds us of the breakfast that we had in Paris like almost every day. It has a little croissant jam. Um, it has coffee and a newspaper and it's just really cute. Um, so we had to get this one. We also had to get this one. Um, it's a little cafe. My husband and I went to so many cafes when we were in Paris, so we had to get it. We also got this one with the Eiffel Tower. And we got another one for my sister just because I know my sister loves croissants, so I had to get one for my sister. 
I got this little Eiffel Tower for my little nephew because um, I told him I was going to Paris and I, he um, he knows about the Eiffel Tower. He's seven years old and he the only thing he asked for was to bring him back a little Eiffel Tower. So I decided to get him this tiny one just so he can um, keep it in his room. And the cool thing about this is that it has um, blue and red studs um, similar to the um, flag, the France flag. It's blue, white, and red. So I got a bunch of cool little um, keychains. This one's really cute because it says Paris. Um, so this one's for me. So I also picked this one out in a different color. The other one was gold. This one's like a silver color. I thought this one was cute so I picked it out. So all of, all of these are going to my sisters and my, my mom. Um, I picked this one out again because I thought it was really cute. And this one's really cute. It has little macaroons so I had to get this one too. My husband picked some out for himself and for some of his friends. So he picked this one out. It's a bottle opener. Um, they're all bottle openers actually, but he, these are some of the ones he picked out. And I also decided to get some postcards. I don't know one buys these anymore, but um, I thought it would be cool just because I have them from a lot of the places I've been to prior to Europe. So I just thought it would be cool to add to that collection. This, this one's a map of Paris, and I thought it would be cool to look at all the places we visited. This one's so cute. I also got this pen um, for work. It comes with a lot of different um, ink colors and I thought it would be perfect for work. And it has the Eiffel Tower. So I also got this little outfit for my niece. She's um, five months right now, so I thought this would be perfect for her. It says Paris, and it looks very Parisian. Um, it comes with a little beret, so I can't wait to see how it looks on her. I'm so excited, can't wait. I also got this shirt for my nephew. Um, it says Roma, because that's how you say it over there. It's, um, and it's a little gladiator. Um, it, he's eight years old, or he's almost eight years old, but I'm sure it will fit him. He won't outgrow it anytime soon because I think it, I think it almost fits me actually. So can't wait to see how it looks on him. My husband got this for his mom. It's the Vatican City. Um, we went there and it was amazing. The architecture was incredible and he decided to get this for his mom because his mom is Catholic. And I got this for my nephew. Um, I told him about the Colosseum and he was really excited about it. So I told him I would get this little um, souvenir for him and I hope he likes it. So we got these ones, one for our fridge and one for my parents. It's essentially the same thing, just um, different designs. But it has the Colosseum, it has the Vatican City and Trevi Fountain. So I thought this would be really great um, souvenirs just because it has all the places we visited while we were in Rome. And something that I decided to get um, in all the places we visited were little um, badge pins so that I can wear on a lanyard. I thought that would be a really cool idea. So I collected little badge pins from all the places we went to. 
So the first one um, I got from Amsterdam. You, um, it's, it was three, almost four euros, and it, um, it has a little bike. I don't know if it's focusing. That's a little bike with flowers, and I thought this would um, really. When I think of Amsterdam, I think of the bike and the river canals. So I thought I had to get this one. When we went to Rome, I picked this one up for Italy. It's the flag, um, the Italian flag, and I thought it would be cool to add to my collection of pins. When we went to Venice, um, I decided I had to get this little gondola just because my husband and I went went there and we had an amazing time at the gondola. So this reminds us of Venice. So when I when I look at it, uh, it'll remind me of our time in Venice. We got this one from Switzerland. Um, it has the little flowers um, and the Swedish flag. When we went to Barcelona, I picked up this one. It's um, the Catalana flag. Um, so I thought this would be really great um, because we did go to Barcelona. And this one's my favorite out of all of them. It's Paris. Um, this one's so cute. Um, let's see, it has macaroons, the Eiffel Tower. And I just thought it was so cute. I did get one for London, but I can't find it right now, but um, I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere. But um, I think that's it. We did get a lot of um, souvenirs for our family members um, and some stuff for us, of course, but I'm really excited to put everything away and to give all this stuff to our friends and family. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video of what the things my husband and I got while we were in Europe. Um, and let me know if you want to watch a video on the activities that we did throughout Europe because we were in Europe for almost a month and almost every single day we were out doing something um, the whole day. So let me know if you, that interests you and if you want to watch that type of video. And stay tuned for uh, future videos regarding travel, uh, future um, travel plans. And that's it. Thank you for watching.